Radigan the champion in a divinity. Man, you can do Radigan is big. Much more than from Clapham Junction straight to the place called Alsden, to the place called Gunchester, to the place called Manchester, to the place called Birmingham, to the place called Leeds and Leicester. Oh, there's a guy on Cobble Murder and Slatter on Jester. Drive up! Lord of mercy. Give me a glass of word, me thirsty. What's good, everybody? It's TV Sound System, yours truly, Selector Hype, live and direct. Big shout out, reaching out to all of those who have been subscribing to TV Sound System for the best news, reviews, and interviews that we can come up with regarding Sound System culture. Also, remember the clothing line, soundsystemclothing.com, www.soundsystemclothing.com, uniting fashion and music. Now, when it comes to Sound System culture, it gets no bigger than the man himself, David Rodigan, MBE. With over 40 years of experience, passion and love for reggae, sound system and radio broadcasting, David Rodigan has finally come out with this. His own book, David Rodigan, My Life in Reggae. Now, when I heard that he was doing a book, I was straight on it, pre-ordered my copy, my copy came on time and I immediately went straight to the book, took it in, took in the vibes and what can I say? Took me about five days to read. I wanted to get, I wanted to re, kind of like read it, get it out of the way, and then give you the people them my personal review on how the book went down. Now we've had many, many books come out regarding reggae music. Not many, two really touching on sound system culture, and not really one from a radio broadcaster, a DJ selector, and somebody that has been in the sound clash industry for so long. Okay, so let's go straight into the book. Three hundred and eight pages of Rodigan's life in reggae. Now, a lot of people was gonna be speculating and probably thinking that it was a book where Rodigan was gonna talk about reggae on a whole, or talk about the sound clash culture on a whole, or just radio broadcasting on a, on a whole, but no, it is about Rodigan's life, it is about him. And he has a story to tell, and I have to say, it is a brilliant read. I'm not going to go really in depth with this review because I want you, the people, them to have your own opinion. Go out there and get the book, read it for yourselves, and you can be your own judge. I'm just giving you my own personal review on the book itself. It starts off with a brilliant story that Rodigan has told, and a lot of you people who have been following Rodigan for so many years would have known about the story when he first met Bob Marley. That's how the book kind of kicks off. And it's a brilliant, brilliant way to start off the book. I'm, I've heard the story many times. I've listened to it again. I've heard him in various interviews before. And he has told that story. But sitting it down and reading the book, and um, he's gone a little bit deeper in how the whole situation panned out with him meeting Bob Marley, etc., etc. It's a brilliant way to start off the book. From there, it kind of goes into family life. Growing up uh, with his parents them over there in North Africa, coming over to the UK, living in various parts of the UK, right away through his university, um, spent some time up there in Sheffield. And it does, there's a lot of um, content at the beginning regarding his family life, his mom, his dad, etc., etc. Then it kind of goes into Rodigan's early days. Um, there's a lot of people that assume that Rodigan is just for the moment or kind of knowing from over about the 10, 15 years of just sound clash and just radio. But in his early days, Rodigan has put in the work. Um, having his own record store, even writing for various newspapers such as the Echoes, which is one of my favorite newspapers and I didn't know that he was a um, journalist and wrote for that um, particular um, newspaper. And he also touches on his early days as a DJ, as what we all do as sound men and as fellow sound men and sound women will know. It's all about lifting up the speaker boxes, them helping a sound system to go and do the thing. You do the early vibes and all them things there. And that's what he was kind of like panned out. What's good about the book? It starts to go into his radio career. And there's a lot of people who speculate on how Rodigan became where he is now as a radio broadcaster and also in the sound system industry. A lot of people let me know like they're using this, this term culture, vulture, a lot recently. But there is definitely a story that Rodigan is telling where he had to put in the works to get where he was. It wasn't a thing where it was just all oh, because he's white. He can just get in and just, you know, all doors are open for him. He faced racial contention. He faced fight from the sound man them. 
from various radio DJs them from the public some people wasn't really in the vibes what he was coming off with that era there there was a lot of punk music going on a lot of different kind of vibes and Rodigan was just solely focused on reggae and he definitely helped bring it to the forefront and that's to say big up yourself David Rodigan real gallis <laughs> first hundred pages or so in the book Rodigan must have mentioned about five women you know Rodigan yeah <laughs> so yeah go on but seriously after his early days um, he, he starts to talk and go into sound system culture and that's when the book just starts to open up so many different avenues that Rodigan talks about and so many situations that he's been in and he just constantly goes in really really in depth of all the situations that he's been in now another thing about the book is depending on what you know Rodigan for if you know him as a radio broadcaster solely as a radio broadcaster he really gives you an insight of the sound clash culture and again if you know him more on of a sound man and you don't really know him much about the radio scene he gives you a very good in-depth um, review on how things worked out for him in the radio industry and it's that sound system industry that really really brings out the book Rodigan really goes in depth there is a lot of um, clashes there's a lot of events there's a lot of artists that Rodigan has met across the years and he has really gone out of his way to big up each and everybody that he has worked with over the years so again it is it is Rodigan's life in reggae but at the same time I feel like he's bringing in everybody there is nobody that nobody goes unturned if he's worked with that person that particular person he will be like yo we did a thing with Kilimanjaro and then he will describe Kilimanjaro give you a brief outlook on who Kilimanjaro are likewise with Stone Love Bass Odyssey Tony Mataron there are a lot of lot of names that were, were, were um, mentioned in the book with a with a decent dialogue of who they are what they do and what they've achieved and for um, what are going to do a book like that I thought it was really really cool for him to go really in depth and really big up the people them who have helped his career reach where it is now so it is kind of like I said his life in reggae but it just shows how many people are significant in Rodigan's life to make him where he is today what's also good about the book it is in like about 20 chapters or so but it doesn't drop it as like chapter one chapter two chapter three it's kind of broke it down as in like scat rock steady toasting rockers dub legends and i like the way how he's done that because it kind of gives it that kind of like um that kind of vibes where he's still using the reggae culture in the book as chapters and there's always a short description on each one so if it's lovers rock he'll do a little description about lovers rock if it's raga uh, bashment he'll do a little bit about that and then he still carries on with the book which is an, a really really nice touch to the way how he did it a lot of photographs in there as well some of them are so so funny you wouldn't even believe them it was David Rodigan and he also goes into his acting career as well so I'm going back and forth with the book because I don't want to start it from beginning to end because like I said I would really really like you people um, to go out there and get the book Again, what can I say? It is one of the best reads that I have read for a long time. Um, there's a lot of questions that you sound man and you sound clash fans have been asking for many, many, many years. And Rudigan, I feel, answers all those questions in his book. He talks about the Barry G clash, which is an absolutely epic story. If you thought the audio was good for that clash, wait till you read what it took for make that clash happen and how many different situations definitely took place also it talks about various other things in terms of is he paying for dub plates does he get free dub plates a lot of you people out there Radigan not pay for him dub plate I'll be a free dub him get Radigan answers that question um, he also talks about the reason why he left uh, Kiss Radio and had to move and the, the story behind that again is something that he didn't really pull out there to the public to say yo the, the reason why I left was because of this but the reasons are there in the book and it's kind of over one song really and um, it's a shame that kind of happened but he put it out there he showed his passion and um, he definitely definitely kept it real 
That's one thing that I can also say for the book. Rodigan definitely keeps it real. So questions that you keep asking for all, of, all these years, Rodigan does ask those questions and he does answer those questions and he talks and bigs up so many artists in there. It is, can I say, it is a brilliant read. For all those people them who have got the book and have read it and are happy with it, I'm as happy as with it as well, man. Because trust me, I think it is just one of the best reggae books out there right now coming from somebody from the radio industry sound clash industry and has such a passion for reggae music another thing was reading the book when i was reading the book i was so engrossed in it and the way how it's well written it just sounds like rodigan <laughs> you will read it and have a rodigan voice in your head and i think one thing that they're, they're kind of missing out on is having an audio version for this book because I know that a lot of sound system fans, them, you know, we, every, everything for us is kind of like audio. We don't really too tend to sit down and read a book, which is always good because I spend so much time reading. But that audio version would be absolutely brilliant. It's something where you're going on a long drive or somewhere. You can just put it in and listen to Rodigan just speak his mind, speak the, his life in reggae. That would be a really, really good look. But like I said, I suggest you all go out there, get the book. Take it, have it as a good read. It will make a brilliant conversation if anybody comes into your house and says, yo, you got the Rodigan book. There you go, conversation starts off straight away. So it is my life in reggae, David Rodigan. It is a exceptionally good read. Uh, hats off to David Rodigan for coming out with a book for the first time as a journalist and a sound man in the sound clash industry. A lot of people them again are saying, is Rodigan a sound man or is he a radio broadcaster? He answers that question. Why doesn't Rodigan have a sound system? He answers that question. So please go out there, go and get the, the book. It is David Rodigan, My Life in Reggae. I'm not going to keep this too long, Matthew, because I could really go on and on and on. I was going to read out a few parts of the book, but I really just suggest, if I'm saying, you the book's good, you know, I'm, I, you know me, man. I keep it real, man. This book is definitely a must-have. So I'll go out there, get the book. If you've got the book already, put your comments in underneath. What was, what was your favourite part of the book? What did you like? What didn't you like? And yeah, get yourself a copy. Now, what's good about the book? I managed to get the. I managed to get my copy uh, pre-ordered. Got the book. I've read the book, and I've just linked up with Lady V from V Rocket, who gave me the link with David Rodigan. So I will be having a interview with David Rodigan, speaking about the book. So look out for that via either my Mixcloud or right here at TV Sound System. We're gonna have the interview with Rodigan. He's done quite a few interviews then, but I'm not, ask, I'm not asking those questions what those interviewers are asking him. They're all asking him the same question. What was it like to meet Bob Marley? Wow. No, we're gonna talk some sound system stuff. We're gonna bring out some of this stuff that's in the book and let him talk the things. So this is Selector Hyde, my first ever book review. So let me give a thumbs up, subscribe to TV Sound System, and you know, everything is definitely good to go. We definitely represent for UK sound system culture and sound system culture all over the globe. But you know, so we kind of really focus on what's popping off right here inside the UK. Remember what it is, TV Sound System. Please subscribe, please share the video, like, thumbs up, and remember where you can check me out, soundsystemclothing.com www.soundsystemclothing.com uniting fashion and music David Rodigan MBE Ting sell off man nah lie I'm out one peace TV Sound System Selector Hype Live and Direct Inside the Place if you are a big fan of the UK sound system vibes, the sound system culture, the sound system fashion, it's all about TV sound system. We have the best in news, reviews, interviews with some of the biggest UK sound systems around the world. We united fashion and music with sound system clothing. So please log on, subscribe, TV sound system, sound system clothing, united fashion and music. It's crazy.